Another 50 ball. Hey, almost a double double. They say you had 91? Yeah, I gotta go check the book, son. Yeah. Not no 91. Yeah, I know 91. 91. Yeah, 91. 91. <laughs> What's good, soup? Today I'm back with another video. And today I'm going to be talking about something insane that I just saw on my Instagram right now. And it's about this high school prospect named Jaquan Carlos. Basically, during his last four games, this man has been averaging 76.5 points per game. Yes, you heard that right, 76 points per game, man, like, this is unbelievable. To break this down even more, he had two back-to-back 90-point -back games, a 73-point performance, and a 51-point performance. This was so absurd that even the score tracker of one of the games made a mistake adding up all the points. So yeah, pretty much in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the story of Jaquan Carlos and why he's been scoring this much lately. So let's get straight to it. Jaquan Carlos was born in 2003 in Brooklyn, New York. He fell in love with basketball as a 7 year old, looking out of his window and watching older kids play. There was a basketball court right behind where he lived in East New York, so he would just watch pickup games all the time and he naturally started playing the game of basketball as well. Carlos stated, quote, I used to go right outside my house and watch. My mom used to come out with me. At that time, I always practiced by myself. So as time came and I got to around 11 or 12 years old, I noticed that I was good. Every day I played up with older grown men outside of my house from daylight until the sun down. It's Brooklyn, so it was tough. From there, Carlos would take his talents to St. John's Rec, which is a team for the recreational center in Crown Heights. This is when Carlos got his first chance to showcase his skills to a coach, in particularly Terrence Giddens. Throughout this time, things were going very well with Carlos since he was getting the exposure that he needed to be a good basketball player, and well, he used that to his advantage as he was an offensive threat on the court. However, as his basketball career started to move forward, Carlos started playing for a new team named New Heights in 8th grade. And honestly, this was the best decision for Carlos. Not only did this team help Carlos on the court, but also off the court as well. His coach had high expectations for him and his teammates to be student athletes and according to Carlos, he had to attend tutoring sessions three days a week before a practice. Even though it was tough at first, it eventually paid off as his academics got him farther than ever. He even got a chance to work out with some of the 17 U players at new highs such as Moses Brown, Sid Wilson, Keith Williams, and Marcus Noel. Carlos stated this about the opportunity, quote, the opportunity to work out with those guys was beneficial. It gave me a different approach to practice when I came back to my team. I paid attention to how efficient they were and how hard they worked. I knew that I needed to apply that to my game. Then when ninth grade came around, Carlos went straight to varsity in Thomas Jefferson High School as head coach Lawrence Bud Poller said that he was better than what they had. When coach Bud first got him, he didn't think that Carlos would come and lead the division in scoring. He stated, quote, he's definitely one of the better players in this class, but that means nothing in the ninth and 10th grade. A lot of guys don't stay the same. They get taller, they get better. You have to keep pushing these kids and encourage them to strive for greatness. Jay wants to get better. He wants to get his body right. He wants to get in better shape, get his shot better and stuff like that. Carlos recognized that, but also became aware that potential is irrelevant until it's fully reached. Quote, the focus I keep is that when I'm working, somebody else somewhere across the state could be working. There's probably a guy just like me in California working as hard as me, just on RJ Kwan. I always keep that mentality, you have to have that one up on everybody, you have to keep working out all the time or somebody's going to catch up to you and be better than you. Eventually, after taking his game to the next level, Carlos ended up averaging a league best 20 points per game as a freshman in Thomas Jefferson High School, while also playing in historically New York City's most competitive division, the Brooklyn AAA. He outdid himself in year 2, again averaging over 20 points per game, while dishing out more than 7 assists per contest. His ability to effectively pass the basketball and also score at will caught the scouts' attention and therefore became a top guard in his class. However, the pandemic happened and things went downhill for Carlos. He couldn't hoop anywhere because the nets were taken away and there were no teams that he could play with at the time. He took some weeks off after the pandemic started but eventually started working out again and running around the track when he heard that a travel team was available for him. But last minute the team got shut down and while well, Carlos had no team to play with, even his high school Thomas Jefferson retired his jersey because they thought things were over forever. Moving forward after a quiet couple of months on the recruiting trail, 
Carlos had his first offers from top national schools, including Virginia Tech, Oklahoma State, and Pittsburgh. However, he ended up choosing a university named Hofstra because of the fit. He's chosen to play there after he graduates high school this year. Carlos stated this about his decision. Quote, it's where I'm loved, not liked, and I have the chance to have a great career there. I want to go somewhere where I'm able to play through my mistakes, and hearing that from the staff stuck with me. Carlos also told 247 Sports in an interview earlier that month that assistant coach and former NBA point guard Speedy Claxton had a big part in recruitment, ultimately leading to that decision. However, even though things were going good with Carlos' recruitment, he still was not playing in the league at this time and was desperate to play again. But eventually, a New York City PCL league came in clutch out of nowhere and started a league in which Carlos could play in. And this is where the madness begins. After plenty of months taken away from Carlos, he took that personally and went off in every single game from this point on. He scored 51 points in his first game back, then 73 points, and then two back-to-back 90-point games, which is absolutely insane. Unsurprisingly, his team was able to win all four games fair and square by 20 plus points. This certainly leads to the main question of this video. How is Carlos averaging 75 points per game so effortlessly? Well, it's because of the competition that he's playing in this league. It's really not that good. Even though he has played high level competition throughout most of his life, like you can see right here when he played Cole Anthony, this league that he's playing in right now currently is mostly to dominate the opponents. Like if you look at this kid he's playing on the screen right now, you know that this man Carlos is just playing with his food and just having fun out there. Even though some of you guys may bash him for that, it's still good rest for him and he still gets him prepared for real life games in the future, especially with his new university season coming up. However, he still has some weaknesses in his game. His size is definitely a big disadvantage for him when he plays college ball, since he's only a 5'11 point guard. That could make it difficult for him to score since he's going to face taller players. Also, his defense is not that good and he definitely needs to improve that if he wants to earn more playing time in college. Other than that, Carlos is good to go on the court. He's a bucket getter, a great passer, and can really be a threat in the future if he translates this against the top competition. In conclusion, his 75 points per game average is still impressive no matter what the competition that he's playing against, and getting 90 point back to back games is even more ridiculous. For now, he's going to probably keep breaking records in this league and keep developing his offensive skill set to a point where he can be unguardable in the big leagues. Let's see what happens though, and that was the video. What do you guys think of Carlos? Do you think he will make the NBA one day with this type of skill set? Let me your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for new, and click the bell to get notified on my official videos. I'll be around a great day. Peace out.